Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Bonnie and on my channel we speak everything about makeup and skincare. So if you are also a makeup and skincare junkie just like me, make sure to hit the subscribe button because there are a lot of videos for you here and also hit the notification bell so whenever I upload videos, you'll get notified. So today I'm here to show you my February BoxyCharm box uh, but I wanted to do this time a little bit different. So last time I know for the month of December I did it as a try on. I had some products. I tried it on as I was showing you as I was doing the unboxing. But this time I saw that there were quite a few products that I would not be able to try on in the video. So what I did, I've been trying this for the past two, three days and now I just want to talk to you about it. And BoxyCharm is a subscription box where it is sort of a mystery box as well. You would know that this box is going to carry a variety of items but you would get only five of the full size items and you are not sure what those five items are. But one month prior they would open a window where they would give you three or four items and you can choose one out of it. So that would be your sure item that you would get. The other four items would be a random item that is picked for your box. So I'm going to show you what is the item that I chose for myself for this month and what are the other four full size items that I received. And I'll also talk about how I liked it. So the first item is the item that I chose for myself when I had the window last month. That is the Saturday Skin Yuzu Vitamin C Sleeping Mask. I like sleeping masks. I do use moisturizer. Mostly I use oil during sleep, but where I like sleeping mask as well. And this is a gel formula, so I wanted to give it a try. It has yuzu and vitamin C. The reviews on Sephora for this was really good. It, yuzu is also a brightening agent and vitamin C is also a brightening agent. It also has a bit of antioxidants in it. This is a Korean beauty and I wanted to give it a try. It is a gel-like formula, but it has these encapsulated granules, these yellow dots that you can see inside. They are encapsulated, might be vitamin C, white, might be yuzu that they talk about, but I did try it for the last two nights and I would say even though I use it for the night, I would still have to use a moisturizer below it because it is a very, it is, it's just like water. It is a very light weighted uh, mask. I don't know why they call it a mask because when you when you just rub it into a skin, it goes in like a serum. It's just like water and the encapsulated granules, they just burst and maybe that's where the ingredients just explode into your skin. So it's beautiful. It's a very good product. I liked it very much. I wanted to give it a try and I'm glad I chose this product in this box. I've been using it for two, three days and I like the way it is. Uh, they say that you can use it at least two or three days in a week. I've used it for two days in a row and I still like it. I didn't see that it, it was harmful to my skin or anything. But yeah, I would suggest wearing it with a moisturizer or your facial oil that you wear in the night and this as the last step in your night routine. The next product I wanted to talk about is the product that I'm wearing on my face today. That is the Wonder Beauty the Getaway Face and Eye Palette. We know BoxyCharm in every box with skincare or brushes, they always have a palette. Mostly they are eyeshadow palettes, but sometimes they have the face palettes as well. So I was happy to get this palette. Wonder Beauty is a good brand. It is in Sephora. You can find this brand in Sephora. And when I opened this, wow, can you see the color? You can see that I've used the palette, right? Yeah, I have been wearing it for the past two days and I should say that the quality is really good. The only drawback I would say here is when you use the eyeshadows, it has a little bit of fallout when you use it, but otherwise it is beautiful. The finish is beautiful. I would, I would not say these are shimmery or satin shadows. These, I would definitely say that these are foiled eyeshadows, especially the shades Cabana and Yatch definitely are foiled eyeshadows. I used Chateau all over my, I first used it just on my creases and then I used it all over my eye. And then I used Road Trip at the end over here, at the quarter end of my eyelid. Then I used Bungalow on the center of my eyes. Then I did Yarch just on the one third inner part of my eyelid and I used Cabana 
on the inner corners. The Blush Babe Day Trip, it is a beautiful pinky coral. It is the month of love, so maybe they chose this color and it is so beautiful. It's the type of blush that I would like. You would never go overboard with this. I layered it two, three times and it still gave me the subtle color. It is pigmented, however, it doesn't get it doesn't make you feel that you're going overboard with your blush if you get what I'm saying. So I love to apply blush again and again and this is the blush that you can use. It is pigmented but it doesn't allow you to go overboard. It still has that beautiful subtle look in it. And the highlighter is also beautiful. This is a type of highlighter that would emphasize a little bit of your texture. It is very soft. It gives you a very soft finish. However, it would emphasize your textures a little bit. It is not glittery at all. It would give you a beautiful glow from within. So totally this palette is something that I would uh, easily put in my bag if I'm traveling somewhere because it has all the neutral shades. So this is a palette that you can use for any way that you dress up, whether you're doing a red lip, a bright lip, or you're going subtle, you're going for a nude shade, or you're wearing a red dress or a black dress or any kind of wardrobe that you're wearing. I think this is the palette that would go with anything and everything that you're wearing. It's a beautiful palette. I would definitely use it when I'm traveling. I would definitely give this a thumbs up. The next is a product from Frank Body. I've seen this product, I've seen this brand at Ulta, but I've never tried any of the products and I did not get a chance to try this product as well because it is a caffeinated scalp scrub. So sc scalp scrub is something that you have to use if you have if you use a lot of products on your hair you have to use a scrub at least once a week or at least once in two weeks i do not use a lot of heating tools on my hair i don't blow dry my hair it's always air dried and i don't curl my hair or do anything excessive with my hair so i don't use a lot of products in it but still i do use a scrub for my hair i use it once a month so i haven't used this yet so i'm yet to use it but i did feel the texture it is very gritty but still very soft it is a vegan and cruelty free brand it is a clean brand you can give it a try i will give it a try and if i love it i would definitely speak about it in my favorites video so if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel because all the products that i speak about definitely i would review them or give a better perspective of how they worked in my favorites video whether it was good or bad you would know in my favorites video so watch out the next product was so cute this is definitely product that i would use and that is let me see it is the ncla is the los angeles treatment it is a vitamin e infused cuticle oil and this oil it has these tiny hearts in it can you see the tiny hearts in it oh my god this is so cute and it is so apt for valentine's month and i did try it on my cuticles it has a rose fragrance but it is not so strong that it would give you a headache it has a very subtle rose fragrance to it and i've used it. it it's not too heavy it is very lightweighted again it is like a very um how do how do i say it it's a very lightweighted oil so it is like a dry oil it's like your body oil so it's not like a proper heavy almond oil that you normally use for your cuticles it is a very lightweighted water-based type of oil uh, i don't know if that's a thing water-based oil but it feels very much like water but it is it is an oil and it hydrates your cuticles very well i always have my nails done so i have to keep my cuticles supple so uh, finding a oil that dries into your skin immediately but still keeps it high hydrated and plump yeah i would love it and i i i keep it on my vanity so every time i come to record because i do close up shots and i need my cuticles very uh, hydrated so this is beautiful i am excited about this product and i've been using it for the past two days and i love it the final product i don't know what to say about this product it is a setting spray let me show you how it is i'm shaking it because that is when you can see how it is it has these golden mist in it so it looks it looks very pretty and i've seen these type mists everywhere but i haven't tried any of them and this is the beauty crop the brand name is the beauty crop it is a cocoa gold mist and yes it definitely smells like coconut and if you love the fragrance of coconut you can use it but i'm very sensitive to coconut so any skincare or makeup item if it has coconut oil or coconut water in it i cannot use it it breaks my skin immediately but still i give it a try the 
First drawback is the spray is too harsh. All right, I don't think I can show you the spray in the camera, but the spray is too harsh. So when you spray it on your face, even if you keep it further from yourself, from your face, it is too harsh. It's like it's spitting the water on your face. So uh, that is one thing I did not like. And another thing, it settles all the glitter particles. So these glitter particles that you can see here, they do not give you a dewy look. So they exactly, they are the golden particles that sit on your face. And I had some sprayed on my hair. Let me see if I can show you right now. I'm just spraying. Okay, so to just show you, I've just sprayed a little bit on my hair. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it, but all the glitter, the golden glitter particles, they sit. So even if you're spraying it on your face, wherever your hair is, it would show visibly that there is golden glitter on your hair and on your face, obviously, it shows all the golden glitter. But one thing is when you can use this is if you're doing a photo shoot, you're doing a photo shoot in the sun or you want to uh, reflect light from your skin when you're doing a photo shoot, I think this would be a very good option to try that. So if you like this and if you're not sensitive to coconut, you can give it a tr try. This is not my cup of tea, so I would just give this a pass. All right, so those are the five products that I got in the box this time. Let me tell you how much individually these product cost. So the, the palette, the Wonder Beauty palette, this retails for $36. The Saturday Skin, the Yuzu Vitamin C Sleep Mask, this retails for $29. The Beauty Crop, this uh, Setting Mist, this retails for $14.99, so that's $15. The Frank and Body Caffeinated Scalp Scrub, this retails for $18.95. And finally, the Cuticle Oil, it is the So Rich Love Potion. This retails for $18. I think it is totally worth it. So uh, my box, I think these three are totally worth my box this month. The sleep mask, the cuticle oil and the Wonder Beauty Eye in Face Palette. So, uh, but still it was worth it because monthly it is a $25 subscription. So I think I got my money's worth this month. If you like this, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.